It included um, some information about um, some data about unemployment and educational attainment rates to give you an idea of where we're starting and where we need to go in order to prepare our talent pipeline. The um, overarching goal of the PD Workforce Board is to unite employers and job seekers and there are certain priority populations that are included in the plan that we want to address, those who are unemployed, those who have been dislocated, um, veterans, offenders, people with disabilities, low income individuals who um, don't have an income or who have very low income. And we intend to do that as we always have by uniting with our partners across this workforce area and with our, unite, with our neighboring regions to develop that talent pipeline that we can meet an employer's needs and ensure that people who don't have the quality of life um, economically um, get that by going to work. And so basically that's what, what, what the plan is all about. It talks about how we plan to align our federal resources, how we intend to integrate more of our services such as our business services um, for our employers. Um, it talks about the co-location of SC Works partners and our diligent effort to ensure that in every county in this workforce area we have a, a SC Works Center physically present. And um, those of you who know from a few years ago, we, we are in danger of not having that here in Dillon County, but because of a, of a collaborative effort between ourselves and Northeastern Tech, we were able to make that happen here. And we do that everywhere we go in the six counties to ensure that, that job seekers and employers can easily access our services physically should they need to do that. It's also available electronically for those who choose to do it, but we always like to have a physical presence. And so we have been diligent about doing that. We've also been diligent about, it, about ensuring through the PD Regional Council of Government's oversight that we um, comply with all aspects of the law. We have never had a disallowed cause. We have never not met performance. And those are things that needed to be presented and taken into consideration in order for the state to approve our plan. And so as it relates to the local plan, that's what we've done. As it relates to the regional plan, it's similar. It's an umbrella plan that includes the three local plans for, from each workforce area and shows how we're going to take the best of what each local area does for workforce development and bring it to scale across the region so that we have more consistency and that type of thing. Um, employers oftentimes aren't all that careful about where they get people from. If they can get to them, it doesn't matter that they're not that they're from North Carolina or a neighboring region. They will they will hire whoever has the skills. So we want to make sure that across the board our delivery of those services are consistent so that all of our re residents have an equal opportunity to access any jobs that are available. That is it in brief and in a nutshell. If there aren't any questions, um, I would ask for your approval of our local and regional workforce plans. Thank you, Joe Ed. Harold Moody and myself are on the board of this. If we, people see one of us, you know, a wonderful job. And I just wanted her to come here and explain it. But we need to go and pass this because I said they're going to do it. We have a motion. I make a motion that we approve the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act plan for the PD region. Do we have a second? I second. Any more discussion? Only favor raise your right hand. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Down to 5B, David Kish Kishman's emergency flasher, 35 watt now, A19 small work program. Hey, I'm David Kitchen, I'm with the Sheriff's Advisory Panel for Dillon County, and we have uh, identified something we feel would be a help not only to the Sheriff's Department, all to all of the first responders in Dillon County. And uh, it's something that we intend to, if we can go forward with it, to present to the senior citizens from 62 on up. Uh, it is an emergency flasher ball. You know, I drive from Lakeview to Dillon daily. And at night when I go home, I, you know, if I was an emergency responder looking for somebody, I don't know if I can find it. This is a, this is a small 25-watt ball. You turn it on, you got a lot, you got an amber light out in front of your house. Turn it on twice, you've got a flashing amber light in front of your house, which we feel would make it a lot easier for emergency responders to locate your house. This is something that uh, we, the advisory panel doesn't have any funds. Quite honestly, we were, we were coming to you and we're hoping that you can help us purchase the first thousand of them. We can get them for $2.50 a bulb and you know, go from there. Again, we've got. You know, we, we figure anybody on Medicaid would qualify for the bulk free of charge. 
If a, if, if a citizen can afford to pay for it, we're going to ask them to pay six dollars. Anything that we get back to us would be turned over to the Dillon County Treasurer. We'd ask them either give us a a money order for to the Dillon County Treasurer, or else give us write us a check to the Dillon County Treasurer so that you can get your money back. And we are what we're asking for is initial initial funds of twenty five hundred dollars to make a purchase of one thousand dollars. I make a motion that we give you twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, yep, senior citizens. Yeah. Is it is it a second of that? I'll say. Any, any more discussion? One question. How who how will you determine who gets these folks? First they have to be sixty two years or old. Or if they if they have a medical qualification for it. And if uh, if to pay if, if they can pay for it, we're gonna ask them to pay six dollars a bulk. If they can't pay for it, so if they're on Medicaid, we're gonna give the bulk some free charge. And again, six dollars if they pay for it, we're gonna turn that back over to the county treasurer. So that you get the money. We're gonna yeah. Or could you buy more bugs with? I mean, you need more bugs? Uh, we'd love to go for We want to start with the initial one thousand. We were able to get the price down to two dollars and fifty. That'd be my thing instead of turning it back over to the trade trying to give us our twenty five hundred back to take it and put it more into Well if the, there's a question about the you know, what will we do with the funds that we put it into? You know, will we will we start a program for the for the advisory panel? Will we put it into the sheriff's department or will we put it into a fund through the Dillon County Treasurer or the panel? We can wait here to help the senior citizens the base Sir? They help the senior citizens the base we can we that's what a little best. Well, I hope you have a lot of money to worry about figuring out how to have it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to buy one to see if I can get one of Well, we got a budget. It's been second. All in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Okay, we have a five or six. Yeah, we have a couple of sergeant sales tires, infrastructure, and money to purchase five footing for the lake. You floor daily and get it milled. I'll kind of give you a, a, the overview of it. Uh, basically, late years uh, of Bobby through his infrastructure money has requested, late year partners requested $20,000. I think it's the thermal camera involved with some turnout gear and some other equipment they need to get their SEO rating up. Uh, the second part for Gaddy's Mill, they would requested a skid and a pump for their new brush truck. Uh, Mount of that's fourteen thousand. Uh, Floridale Fire Department, they need some turnout gear, maybe some air packs and some other equipment. Uh, they need about ten thousand dollars. Well it's a, be a total of forty four thousand. I can't even be speaking well going to this fire department. They need that equipment. Um, we have a motion. Uh, I'll make that motion. We are. Okay. Second. I second. Okay. Any discussion? My favorite is right now. two trailers now. We allowed the GEO bond sixty five thousand as our initial quote we got on the trailer. We got three quotes. Um, the first quote is from Carolina International Trucks out of Columbia. The quote was seventy thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, we got one out of North Carolina, Lilly International. Their quote was 60921 And then we uh, called the manufacturer itself. And their quote was 57921 that, That's a piece. We've got to have two of them? Yeah, that's a piece. All of them about the same specification? Yeah, all 
did the same specifications to all of them. Um, now we are getting a check from the insurance company on the one that burned is for forty two thousand three dollars. About fifteen thousand we didn't get it about a fifty cent. Yeah, and we, we kind of budgeted it. If you go with the lower bid, we budgeted it seven thousand over. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Have you heard anything about their trash truck being tore up by Yeah, uh -huh, Charles said. I just I, he said I, he got one with an engine out and the other one with the transmission out. Yeah, I just I didn't know what was going on. I just I knew they'd been borrowing the cities an awful lot. Yeah. Said, they don't mind, but I just I Yeah, just, but that, that's that's where we are. I think had one that says the engine's gone bad transmission. Now I think Charles said <coughs> AWS I think had one that had a new transmission in it, they might get it from me. Are we talking about the loader truck? Or the yeah, the truck? loader truck. Yeah. The loader loader truck. truck. No, Steve is talking about the loader truck. We're talking about the trailer. Yeah. Didn't we buy, didn't we just, didn't, didn't we buy a new loader truck last year? No. We didn't approve? Okay, I thought I, I they, they last year. They bought a rollback, roll off truck. Roll off, roll off, roll off. 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 Roll Okay, I'm going to make a motion to get the fixed set of Well, yeah, they had one 579 and one 60000 Now, we want to do both of them or just one of that? Well, we're going to make some extra. These are some trailer trailers. Okay. Hall, but uh, Bishopville, Landfield. What do you need, Rich? You need two of them? Yeah, if you could, we'll go ahead and just place them on both of them. Is that second? I'll second that. Okay, and we'll discuss. I'm very ready to write Mr. Caddy, that's coming out of the the extra money also for the second trailer is coming out of the DL Yeah, it should be. Yeah, and then probably 8000 will come out of Charlie's capital right. expenditure to make that difference. Okay, we're down on the private vehicle for county administrator. I think um, what we've looked at is for a, a Tahoe, like a pull up state contract for it. Uh, this is, I guess we'll have to probably change something on the rent right here. They didn't want the, the standard county rent, but other than the rims, prices, state contract prices, 36196 Well, uh, the, the vehicles are, the, uh, if we had, we gave it to the library, so, so the administrator doesn't have a vehicle, we're supposed to have Richard, that truck you're going to have about the same thing that our chief of police has got, and, and like the police package, but it's got the, you know, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's a Kruger. Yeah, Rupert's Tahoe, but it's... All I told you got for is... Yeah, other than, I guess... Diabetes Research Foundation, and they're asking for a contribution to this cause to help find a cure for diabetes. I get us diabetes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to give a hundred out of my record. And the 
other one is the PG um, Coalition is having a golf tournament and they are asking for y'all to give a donation or you can sponsor a whole. Um, the cost of the event is $50 per person or $200 per team. And this is going to be at the City of Dillon Municipal Golf Course and it will be on Friday, October the 14th at 11.30 a.m. <coughs> Already in the budget on 